you so much for the kind introduction and thank you to the all the uh, organizers for inviting me here. And I would like to thank Shalini also for making my work very easy, very easy. So uh, my topic today is India why it is important to the session that is you know the numbers we know. Pregnancy termination was routinely recommended for women with diabetes because of actually higher mortality rate. And diabetes and pregnancy are utmost important and this is a place which will decide whether the diabetes will span the generation or it can be limited to that generation of it. So if you see more than 80% of the pregnancy are complicated by diabetes are estimated due to simple gestational diabetes. The number of pregnant women pre-existing diabetes is increasing, mainly from increasing the number of type 2 cases also and now more and more type 1 diabetes patients becoming pregnant. Very important thing is that GDM causes a serious health consequences for mother and baby both and however the way of hope is that treatment of maternal hyperglycemia, very important thing, has been shown to reduce the risk of almost to the such a level seen in those patients without any GDM. So, if you see the prevalence is increasing, GDM is in India is varied from 3.8 to 21% I mean, in different kind of studies across the part of the countries. Urban areas definitely has more number of patients than rural areas and even the population and ethnicity, if you compare the prevalence of IgG per glucose tolerance, the GDM actually corresponds, the GDM rates in that community correspond to the IgG rates in the, in the community. So hyperglycemic pregnancy, if you see the LDL data by reason, and in 2017, the highest number was seen in Southeast Asian region. So Indians are a bit more at risk. And if you see the one in six LIBOR suffer in women with some kind of hyperglycemia is due to 84% of which are due to GDM. Indian women again uh, at a higher risk. If you see Asian Indian women, they are relatively higher risk than the non-Hispanic white women. The reason is exponentially increasing risk factors. But Shalimina already told the positive family stroke that this is increasing. That's why more and more pregnant women are at higher risk because they are of their family history. And another two important aspect would be the women are becoming pregnant at a, at a later age, more than 30 years. And obesity is, is again increasing in our population. So GDM is not just affecting one life, very important thing, it affects both lives. Okay? So we know hyperglycemia during pregnancy is associated with high risk of maternal and perinatal morbidity and mortality. Also GDM identifies women, what Dr. Shalimba clearly told, that there are higher future risk of diabetes and associated metabolic complications. Along with that, maternal hyperglycemia is associated with development of metabolic problems in offspring also. So first maternal issues, so diabetes complications during pregnancy. So these are already women who are diabetic and they have become pregnant, so there, are, there is higher risk of ketoacidosis, there is deterioration of diabetic retinopathy, the chances also increase for deterioration of nephropathy also, and when this woman starts using insulin, there is obviously a higher risk of hypoglycemia. Offspring complications, again, these are more and more increasing, by spontaneous abortion, or Dr. Patishi has told, premature birth. Pregnancy induced hypertension, polyhydramnios is very important thing, and a very neglected aspect is about the maternal distress also. This can be either due to combined effect of oversized fetus and polyhydrogen source. So gestational diabetes it induces the placental gene source for chronic stress and inflammatory pathways for Dr. Shalini Manigo. So the GDM uh, is its major changes in the expression of the profile of placental genes. And there is a regulation of inflammatory genes also, leptin also and DNA alpha receptor also and which, you know, again activates the stress activated proteins. The major metabolic concern, what Dr. Shannon told, 
that GDM represents the direction of the corroding beta cell dysfunction. And GDM is a state in evolution of hyperdiabetes. So if you see the lifetime risk for hyperdiabetes increase in human with gestation diabetes, what Dr. Shaliman told. And this is a actual number of 50 persons who have GDM will develop IgD in the next 5 to 10 years. And according to ADN last year, the absolute risk increases linearly through women's lifetime. At 20% at 10 years, to up to 60% at 50 years. So this is a big number and this shows the lifetime risk for developing type diabetes in patients who have developed GDMs. So this is very important and it's a vicious cycle. You see obesity, this leads to hyperglycemic and pregnancy and ultimately it leads to obesity in the future generation. And later on, these obese children are again informed for diabetes and half of them will be uh, pregnancy again. So this is a vicious cycle and not only diabetes or obesity is, I would also like to focus on the cardiovascular risk also, which increases in women with GDF. You see, women with history of GDF and pathophysical which I have already discussed. What about fetal complications? Yes, all each and every kind of complication can occur fetus during pregnancy if the hyperglycemia in pregnancy is not controlled. So antenatally fetal distress and death can occur, conglomerate malformations can occur, macros are very common and delayed fetal development, high clear can also then. Also complications leading to birth like birth and death was total dysplasia can occur. Fetal death again a very very tragic moment for all the doctors and the family members also and it has multi-factorial pathogenesis, hypoxia or doctor Bhaiji has already told asphyxia and acidosis are the final events and it may be due to the combined effects of either infrared and nuclear drug drop, reduced placental transfer of oxygen also and increase in the heat of oxygen demand in the later stages of pregnancy. Other factors involved can be episodes of fetal hypoglycemia, fetal blood, hypoviscosity and thrombosis also. Fetal microbiome again very important thing. It can be due to maternal hyperplasia. We all know maternal hyperplasia is uncontrolled. It leads to fetal hyperplasia. And fetal hyperplasia, where the pancreas goes into secondary hypertrophy, it has to function more. And there is increased excretion of insulin, which leads to accumulation of fat and leads to adiposity. And we all know insulin is an anabolic hormone, and that's why. In microsomia, again, another secondary thing, mechanism can be elevation of maternal free fatty acids, which increases transfers to the fetus also, and there is increased triglycerides changes in the fetus, which leads to adiposity. Malformations uh, related to severity of diabetes, especially during the first pregnancy, are very, very important thing. A very, very crucial leader of hormone genesis, and it commonly includes chronic abnormalities like ventricular or sexual circle defects, neural root defects. And even formal regression syndrome like secular dizziness. After the living, what can happen? Yes, neonatal complications can also occur postpartum immediately. So, neonatal hypoplasia again a very, very important aspect due to fetal um, hyperdysinemia. And neonatal hyperdysinemia, neonatal hypoplasia can also occur, polycythemia can also occur, newborn respiratory disease syndrome can also occur, and sometimes there are hypertrophic cardiomyopathy also due to. Increased exposure to insulin during gestation. Last part, why it is important to know we have seen the actual medical problems, maternal fetal complications, but there are few things we need to understand why it is important. Because as Dr. Shannon has perfectly told, it is very easy to improve the preconceptual method and health. We have to um, uh, improve the health of mothers or uh, actually the women in the recruited age group to prepare them before even you know, before they become pregnant. This is very important to prevent gestational diabetes and future diabetes risk and metabolic risk to the mother and the baby both. Again, it is very important uh, to know because if you know that it is very, very easy to detect GDM, okay, and hyperglycemic pregnancy, and if you detect early in pregnancy, you can treat it very well. So early detection and screening is very, very simple and our whole Indian guidelines are so simple. When a general practitioner can do the immobility and even if you look on you can do it during the immobility. This is very easy to detect, but if you know and if you spread the awareness, you can definitely prevent this. 
Why it is important? Because it is very easy to click initially. And if you see the majority of your gestational realization in the initial product, then it can be easily controlled with diet and lifestyle modification of it. So if you detect early, start the intervention early, you won't need those complex insulin resistance in each and every patient. Last one is important because with the spreading of this product, we can prevent this physical loss also. And especially the increasingly common financial losses also. You will see so many pregnancies by IDF or artificial reproductive techniques. And there's many types of things. And if you can prevent this financial loss also, it will be a very good question. And last part, I thank you uh, everyone for listening to me. And again, I'm repeating uh, your being. Uh, no, um, quotes from the um, um, major um, researchers in this field. So, life speaking on is of say, the gender security that is mentioned. Again, uh, the Barker Hypothesis about Sharin and Moore's female treatment origin of mental disease. And that's mm -hmm. the same words from our mental doctor, she is a teacher. Female is the mother of modern disease, and we should focus on the features for the future. Thank you. Thank you.